Okay, for verse and devotion today, again, we're still talking about how to be a good, a good friend uh, to your friends. And this one is probably going to be tough for a lot of you, which in reality it shouldn't be because, well, let me read it and you'll, you'll get it when I, what I'm talking about. Okay, it comes from Proverbs chapter 22, and it's verse 24. And it says, Do not make friends with a hot-tempered man. Do not associate with one easily angered. And then 25 says, Or you may learn his ways and get yourself ensnared. There are a lot of people out there that have horrible tempers, horrible tempers. And well, it's just not good, okay? It's not a good thing to have a horrible temper because that is a outward manifestation of what's going on inside your heart when something ticks you off. So it's telling us right here, do not make friends with a hot-tempered man. And if you do, you're going to pay for it. You're going to become the object of their wrath. Um, if they're not a Christian, it could turn into domestic violence. Um, good Lord, it could turn into death. I mean, there's people that get killed because the person that they're friends with or spouses with are absolutely just they it turns into wrath and wrath is not of god i mean that's listed in the bible so if you have friends that you think oh gosh if this happens they're they're really going to get mad and i mean i don't mean just oh i'm i'm mad i'm upset but i mean throwing things hurting things violent that is unacceptable and true friendship is not like that that's just not how it works people not at all. It says, do not associate with one easily angered. Don't associate with them. And if they say, you know, why did you quit being my friend? Just tell them, you know, you're, you get way too mad for me. I, I don't like that. I don't need that kind of drama. I don't need that kind of dissension. I mean, we talked about that a couple days ago. That they deal with drama and dissension because they're just so perverse in their anger and their thought processes and you know unless Jesus gets a hold of their hearts and changes them there's nothing you can do for them you definitely don't want to have a friend like that it's sad I know people that get like that and so you you know I avoid them as much as possible because I don't want to be around them when they turn into an idiot that's that's what I call it they just turn into an idiot um, because people, when they get very hot-tempered and angry like that, they lose control of themselves. And that's another thing the Bible says is that we're supposed to have self-control. We are not supposed to lose control of ourselves just because we get mad or upset. So, if you have friends that are like this, you need to seriously consider your friendship with them. That's what the Bible says. So... I'm not saying do, you know, I don't know how to put the words in there, but I'm not saying go against them cold turkey, but you need to seriously evaluate it and pray for them because the Bible says don't make friends with a hot-tempered man. Do not associate with one easily angered. So there's your answers right there. Lord, my prayer is that if there are people that are out there that are you know, struggling with this right now or dealing with it, that they have friends that are like this, God, that you show them this video, that they see these verses, that they hear this, and realize that it's okay for them to break ties with them because your word says so. And if you are telling people to just hang in there a little longer, because I believe there's times where we have to just pray for people and stick it out, but we can do it from afar. I just ask that you give people wisdom and how to handle these difficult situations. So help us to 
pay attention to people's anger, their wrath, and if they are friends, to break the ties in a good way, properly, the way you want it done. In Jesus' name I pray, amen.